What up, Naraja? Um, so looking over the pictures and then today's weight being 130.8, I feel like we are trending very much in the right direction. I know the average is pretty stable, but that's because you had a big fluctuation. Um, and I think the waist is down a little bit. Overall, I feel like there is enough progress that I don't necessarily want to make any adjustments, but I'm going to anyway. That's right. I'm going to anyway. Um, we're going to bump your cardio up to 40 minutes. So I want to keep the nutrition the same, just get more movement uh, going. So 40 minutes total cardio for the sessions. Let's just keep everything else the same. Your carbs are high enough now. We don't need refeeds yet. Um, but I would like to get us soundly into the mid-120s um, here within the next month. You know, like I'd like to be middle of April sitting pretty in the mid-120s. Um, and just know that we're 10 pounds away. Just know that we're locking in like time frames. So yeah, giddy up. Um, I'd also like to this year, you know, with our travel schedule, with being at a lot of events, I'd like to give you those events as like little breaks along the way. So we may be a little bit more aggressive for short stints and then, you know, take the, take the trips as like, you know, diet break days and reduced cardio. Um, and I know you typically drop when you travel anyway from all the movement. So it'll give us an opportunity to like push and recover, push and recover. So, um, so bump it up to 40, keep the rest the same. Um, and I'll see you in 10 days. Yeah, maybe less. I don't know. It's Wednesday, next Friday. I see you. Okay. Can't wait. Okay. Bye. All right, guys. So that was my response from my check-ins to Paul this morning. Um, I actually usually check in on Tuesday, so that would have been yesterday. Today is Wednesday. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, today is Wednesday. It is March 23rd. Um, and normally my check-in days are Tuesdays, but we actually skipped check-ins yesterday because my time of the month was here. If you guys have seen my videos in the past, you know I struggle a little bit with my cycles with symptoms with bloating um just go down a list of things we've talked about it before um and this month was no different i'll put a little example of what was going on uh the last few days the last like week and a half two weeks or so of just like some intense bloating and so we decided to just wait until that like all that stuff kind of calmed down before we decide to assess the situation and see if we want to make any adjustments so you heard the plan sebastian has decided to hey hey you you're being a little rude. Are you being rude? <laughs> okay, well, anyways, so anyways, yeah, so that's the plan. Just to recap what these last couple weeks, give me that. <laughs> these last couple weeks, uh, prep started two weeks ago, so there weren't really any crazy changes this week um, after everything kind of calmed down from my cycle we did end up dropping two pounds from where we started i started this prep at like 133 pounds we're down to just below 131 so nice nice low steady taste there typically and what i'll tell my clients too like that ideal rate of fat loss is usually between a half a pound to like a pound and a half per week depending on the person depending on the situation so as of right now we're smooth sailing um the first week nothing really happened hunger was pretty minimal um, i'm definitely feeling more hungry this week and energy is still good though i think i initially started out on the stationary bike i did buy a stationary bike um in this with this last off season i just was tired of the treadmill you see it right there i was tired of it um bored of it i needed something else so the bike was nice but i've just found that it's a little bit difficult for me to get into the bike as far as intensity with cardio so i've brought the treadmill back out of retirement and actually kind of missed it i really enjoying my my cardio sessions as of a few days ago just introducing that back in and i feel like it's actually made a, a decent difference with just how we're seeing the progress with this prep so i'll probably alternate between the two as i get bored um but i'll pretty much i'm always sticking to steady state cardio for the most part i i never do hit cardio that's just never been how i prep um everybody's different but steady state is is my jam so anyways 
Um, oh yeah, I never told you guys about what the adjustments that we made. So when we started this prep, I ended my off season at 130 protein, 250 carb and 60 fat with free meals um, or untracked meals. People call them cheat meals. I don't like that connotation, that word. So I we use the term untracked meal or free meal, um, which usually for me was either burger and fries or sushi. Those are my two favorite things. I'm not a big pizza, so, uh, pasta person. I know those things just don't sit well with me so i tend to stick to foods that i know digest well and also um you know the day after i have you know the untracked meal or that meal out i get a really good workout i get a really good pump so those are the things i pay attention to when i'm looking at you know what kind of meal i want to consume for my untracked meal um sometimes if you go out to dinner i'll usually get sometimes i get a burger sometimes i'll get um a steak a good filet mm, medium rare um some veggies some carbs on the side and to usually a glass of wine because I love my wine. None of that now. <laughs> We've cut all that out. Um, I think aside from just the macro adjustments, so going from 250 carb to 210 carb, um, fats have stayed the same. Cardio was really just kind of lifestyle cardio, walking the dogs, um, going for walks here and there, or just a light warm up before training sessions. Now we're doing 30 minutes, well now 40 minutes, but um, we added 30 minutes of steady state cardio five days a week um, where I wasn't really doing it regularly before. So really not crazy adjustments um, to start and so far so good. So yeah, what else I have planned for this video aside from a prep update is um, I have a giveaway that I'm excited to, to have on here on my YouTube. It's my first YouTube giveaway so I'm hoping it goes well, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, but really just as a thank you guys, I know I this isn't a new YouTube channel, but it's it's new in the sense of me being more active on here and posting more frequently and, and really engaging and getting to know you guys, you guys getting to know me. And so I just wanted to post a, a giveaway that's special to my, my YouTube friends. Um, I'm pretty active on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is Dayraja Hill Fit um, on my IG. Here, you know, I feel like I'm just getting my footing in, so I wanna say thank you. So we'll get to that at the end of the video, um, but really the meat of this video is actually to show you guys my two absolute favorite meals for, um, a sweet tooth and satisfying that sweet tooth craving. I am a sweet over savory kind of person. I love my sweets, specifically like pastries, like cookies, cake, um, and things like that. Obviously in prep, we don't get to indulge in those as frequently. So I'm gonna show you two of my favorite meals that help me with those cravings. Um, one is gonna be my oats, which Typically, I'll make what I call apple pie oats, which are just to die for. And also my little yogurt bowl that I, I like to throw together. Both of these, obviously very macro friendly because I'm in prep and that's the name of the game. Um, but yeah, like I said, usually too around that time of the month, I'm craving something sweet. These, these are my go-to meals. So let me show you how I make those. Okay, you guys, so the first one I'm gonna show you, oh my God, please don't look at my nails. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna show you is the apple pie oats. So the first thing you're gonna need is the low sugar, apple cinnamon, um, instant oatmeal packs from Quaker Oats. And then what I like to use, and honestly, a lot of these ingredients are exchangeable. You can, you know, use them or not use them based off of your preference, make substitutions, whatever you wanna do. But I prefer the vanilla um, almond butter from Justin's Justin's. It's just from Justin's. Um, also with the Kerry sugar-free syrup. Honestly, of all the sugar-free syrups that I've tried, Kerry's is my favorite um, just as far as flavor, consistency, etc, etc. Um, egg whites, which for y'all who just cringed at me, don't cringe just yet because um, I'm going to show you how to make it so that the egg whites, you don't really taste them and you just don't really even notice that they're there. Um, there's a little technique to it. So <laughs> hold on. I like to top with like these little mini chocolate chips sometimes. Um, a couple different options. You can either go with, see these, um, these apple crisp or apple chips. 
or you can do what I like to do, which is put a little bit of a Honeycrisp apple, which Honeycrisp apples are the goat apples. Don't even try to tell me they're not. They're so good. Um, I'll either just slice them up and put them in there as is, or I'll dump them in the air fryer and um, fry them up a little bit with some stevia and cinnamon. And it's kind of like a little apple pie. I like to put chia seeds in here. I just like chia seeds. I like what it does for the, for the oats. It makes, I think, a little bit thicker in consistency as well. And if you have the budget, macro-wise, if you have the budget for these, uh, pecan pralines oh, are just phenomenal to put on top of these i actually don't have the macros for this today i might have to budget this for tomorrow because i'm not gonna eat this today but oof, so good so let me show you how to make it all right guys so the obvious steps of this recipe dump the contents of that instant oats pack into the bowl and then you're also going to dump in some chia seeds Next, I add a little bit of water. I should have added actually a little bit more, and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but we're gonna fix it, so don't worry about it. Then I go in and add my egg whites. I usually use between 100 to 120 grams of egg whites. I feel like when I use more than that, it gets just, it's not ideal. So mix that in a little bit. Then we're gonna put it in the microwave and set it for two minutes. Now this is the important step. After one minute, take it out of the microwave and you're gonna stir it up and just break up any of the solid egg whites. Ones that got a little bit more cooked, usually it's gonna be on the outside. Do this and repeat this step until it's the consistency that you want. And then I'm gonna add my Core Nutritionals MRP. Y'all, this flavor is so freaking bomb. I, it's the only one I order on repeat. I do love the pound cake also, but the flavor in this one is just unreal. And the way that it mixes into the oats or your cream of rice, it's just delicious. There's no other way to describe it. Next, I add some almond milk just because it's a little bit chunkier than I want it to be, which is why I should have added more water like I told you guys. But we'll just fix it with a little bit of almond milk. And then I just add it in until it's the consistency that I want. Then I add two stevia packets and whoops, we dropped some paper in there. Sorry. Okay, add some salt in. This will make it taste a little bit sweeter. If you guys don't know, like people usually add salt into baked goods just because it does actually make it taste sweeter. So I just add salt to taste basically. And then that's the consistency that I usually like my oats at. So I add some almond butter. This is my favorite kind, just because it's easy to find at store-bought. I get it at Publix Grocery Store, that's the local store down here in Florida. And if you guys didn't know, this is actually the easiest way to measure out your almond butter or your peanut butter. Instead of like measuring it off the scale and then trying to add it into your bowl and measure it that way, it's so much easier to just measure it off of the scale itself. And we chop up some apples. We toss some apples in there. Like I mentioned, you can air fry these with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of stevia, maybe even some, some lemon juice and really dress them up. I didn't feel like doing that today. I also just love the crunch and crispiness of Honeycrisp apples. They're just, oh, so good. Add some mini chocolate chips, cause that's how I like it. And always top with carrot sugar-free syrup. Like I said, these are my favorite sweet treats, guys, so we're making them as sweet as we can. <laughs> Next is the yogurt bowl. This one is a little bit quicker, a little bit easier to make. Not that the other one wasn't easy, it's just less steps with this one. So I'm just gonna dump this stevia packet into my yogurt. I just love things sweet, so I add stevia to just about anything that I can, <laughs> including my yogurt, my oats, my coffee. I like sweet stuff. Mix it in, dump it in the bowl. No macro left behind. <laughs> and of course we get to lick the spoon. Again, with the almond butter, like I said, I just, I like what I like and I use it as often as I can. This honestly helps keep you from just obsessing over foods. It's just, if I'm craving it, I eat it and I move on. Add some more apples. Now 
Now I'm gonna add some granola. Again, I like crunch. I like this crunchy texture of things. I don't really like yogurt by itself. I just, I, there has to be something in there. So add the granola, add the chocolate chips. Just a little bit and voila. And of course we're gonna top it again with some sugar-free syrup. All right guys, so those are my two favorite meals to satisfy that sweet tooth, to satisfy those cravings. Um, you can actually see the toppings that I choose are pretty consistent with just what I enjoy. Um, the granola, the apples, the almond butter, the the apples. <laughs> I just, I love Honeycrisp apples. I think they're just so delightful. The crunch, they're crispy, they're refreshing. Um, and I feel like you get a decent amount of bang for your buck with those apples um, as far as volume when you're prepping. You do like volume foods um, just because it does help, I think, in the long run. You know, you guys know where I'm going with this. High volume foods, they fill up the container. It makes you feel like you're eating more food. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I have my oats, my apple pie oats. Again, like I said, you can throw these apples in the air fryer. Um, if I'm really feeling it, I've actually tossed in air fried bacon in there before. Um, that was an off season thing. <laughs> I'm not really bothering with that right now. And then I have my yogurt bowl, which I am gonna eat now. Like I told you, I'm not gonna eat my oats right now because it's just in my breakfast. Um, one of the things that I do prefer in the morning is a slower digesting meal. I don't usually train first thing in the morning when I get up. I'll do my cardio, which I do first thing. I'll do that fasted. Not for really any other reason than just because I like to get it done and out of the way. It's a, one of my favorite ways to start my day. And then I will have my oats um, in the morning before I start working. I start my client calls, I start my posing calls. So in the middle of the day or at, actually in the end of the day, I do like to finish the day off with my little yogurt parfait bowl just because I like to finish the day with something sweet. So those are my two meals. And now it's time to talk to you guys about this giveaway. Shh. Okay, <laughs> so it just so happens that TLF, which stands for Take Life Further, in case you didn't know, um, but TLF is the clothing company that I do. Sebastian! So it just so happens that TLF is launching a new collection called the Contour Collection, and it's actually the leggings that I've been wearing in this video. I will... Someone's a little upset. I'm gonna adjust the angle of this camera so you guys can get a better look at these leggings. So something that's new with these is they do have the scrunch butt that is very new from TLF. Yeah, there's a lot of scrunch butt leggings out there, but uh, honestly, I find this just incredibly comfortable. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Tempo collection as well as the Genesis collection just because they're so soft. The material is super soft, super comfortable. And so when I tried these on, I was like, it was giving me major like Tempo meets Genesis vibes as far as the fabric um, and the comfort and the fit. I mean, they're just, they're super flattering <laughs> and they really do... I guess contour um, the body. So there's two tops. Um, also, so the leggings do come in all of the color options. There are, I think, five colors. Um, what is it? The black, the blue, the pink, the light blue, and the gray. So lots of awesome colors to choose from. I did post a reel on my Instagram page to show you guys kind of how I like to style them. Jeez. <laughs> I did post a reel showing how I like to style them outside of the gym. Obviously, they're meant to be worn to the gym. They are active wear, but um, a lot of the styles do look really, really cute with just the regular everyday clothes. So go check that out if you haven't already. I'm gonna show you there's two different styles of tops. So the leggings, they come also in shorts as well, which I'm obsessed with. I'm a big shorts girl. 
I just, I've always loved shorts, but if you like pants, the leggings might be for you. But there are two different types of tops. So there's a racer back top, and then there is the scrunch front top, and I'm gonna show you both. So this is the racer back top in the blue. Like I said, these come in every single color, um, but obviously I put the blue on because it matches the pants that I was wearing, but this is the back. And it's just super comfy. Um, one of the things I always, struggle with especially with tops like this is I have pretty wide shoulders I have you know developed lats I'm a more I guess athletic build if you will and a lot of the times like I find that these really cut into my my lats and my back and they just I don't know they fit kind of weird so I just I like the fit of this a lot um, and they're super supportive so I do have a breast augmentation I think in off season I'm around a D in prep I'm a C cup and this is a size small so use that information however you want um, but this does support me um, and it I don't feel like I'm spilling out of it and I'm you know like I said they're there next I'm gonna show you the scrunch top in black okay so this is the contour scrunch top in black so you can see there's scrunching in the front and then it kind of tapers off in like a little V, which I actually love. But I put on the black pants just so you could see how it's paired. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer, but just so you guys can see what they look like together. And then here is the back. And also part of the contour collection are the super comfy crop sweaters. And I mean, super comfy, you guys. If you've tried the crop sweaters from TLF before, like the oversized ones, oh, these are just, these are super comfy. And then they're also coming out with joggers, which aren't aren't quite ready yet. Um, super, super excited to try those though. I'm a huge joggers girl. I just love that, that like cute casual bun look. Um, I'm super excited for those to come out. So once those come out, you'll probably see me post those on my Instagram. Um, just because I'm probably wearing them all the time. To get to the point, I will be giving away a $100 TLF gift card for you to use and shop uh, my favorite athletic wear. So you can either use this to take advantage of the uh, contour launch, which launches on the 25th, which is a Friday, um, or you can use this card to try out some other things from, from TLF, like the Tempo, the Genesis Collection, the Shine Collection. There's a lot of amazing pieces. Um, I have most of them myself and um, if you go through my Instagram you'll see that's pretty much all I wear so a hundred dollar gift card given away to one winner and here is how you enter so to enter all I want you to do is comment one goal that you are super excited to work toward and achieve for this year um, one of my biggest things is I just I'm huge on self-care I'm huge on taking care of you and doing things for you and making sure that you know you don't forget that you and your goals are are just as important so i just encourage you if you haven't already for the year of 2022 set an amazing goal something that might scare you a little bit something that's exciting and terrifying um and leave it in the comment section and then i will go through and select a winner on um monday all right, so it's gonna run all the way through to next week, all the way through Monday, and I will announce a winner on my next YouTube video. All right, so thanks guys, good luck, and as always, I appreciate the support. Um, it means the world to me, so bye. <laughs>